Hi, this is Dr. Carmelli, and today I want to talk to you about melasma. Melasma is a condition where the skin turns darker and gets a little blotchy, um, and it can happen because of different reasons. Some people have some kind of a hormonal abnormality or have been on birth controls, and that induces the formation of more melanin, which is the pigment that our cells make which just gets disrupted and thrown all over the skin and it makes it look uneven in terms of coloration. Uh, other things that can cause that is actually sun, excessive sun exposure can cause the same thing. And some people are just a little bit more predisposed to it genetically and get a little more discolored with a variety of reasons. There are different treatments for melasma. The most important Thing that we have to talk about melasma is sun protection. It's so important to protect the skin from excessive UV radiation. That means that even on a rainy day or a cloudy day, one must still apply sunscreen and be very discreet about how much light is being absorbed by the skin. So that's something you can do during the day. There are other creams and products that have prescription ingredients. And the reason that's important is because a lot of these ingredients are actually not available over the counter because they're so strong and you have to have specific instructions and you have to be a candidate for the treatment to be able to apply it. And we often have a lot of these products in the office and you can use them in conjunction with other treatments. Some of the treatments that we can do for melasma is lasers that help with discoloration. But perhaps the most important and effective and a great way to get rid of melasma is using chemical peels. Chemical peels are a lot safer, especially for ethnic population, people who are not blonde or blue eyes. In fact, chemical peels were used as early as Cleopatra, who used to take sour milk baths because of the lactic acid. Chemical peels are now all over the market, and there are a lot of people using chemical peels at home. So what's the difference between the peels that we offer in the office versus the products that are available? Well, again, it has to do with very powerful ingredients that have been used in very discrete combinations that can do a lot more work. So maybe you can get 2-3% improvement at home, but with the peels we offer, we improve like 20-30% per peel. So we do need a series to be able to get you more and more closer to the ideal uh, non-blotchy perfect skin. But for example, the chemical peel that we're going to use today is called the VI peel and we've put a boost in it so it's called the precision peel. That's a very effective and non-painful chemical peel. It has all sorts of prescription ingredients that are very powerful and very effective in being able to exfoliate the top of the skin and gently over time remove all the dispigmentation or the uneven pigmentation from the skin. That's very important because we can't do it overnight. It wasn't overnight that we got discolored and we have to gently remove that dead layer that holds the uneven coloration because if we try to do it heroically overnight we can actually make the situation worse and we can get even more of an uneven pigmentation. So this one for example has a combination of what's called TCA, retinoic acid, a little bit of phenol, salicylic acid and we have actually put hydroquinone, kojic acid and retinoic acid which is a type of vitamin A into this. It's a proprietary formula and it actually is not painful considering how powerful it is. We prep the skin, we put the peel on, and the patient will take home a series of instructions as to how to maintain the skin. A little towelette that delivers extra medication that's also prescription strength over the next two days, as well as some products to be able to take care of the skin while undergoing the chemical treatment. It's actually quite safe. In the first two, three days, the peeling starts around the mouth and gently goes back towards where the hairline is. The most important thing is not to peel off the dead skin because you will get scarring. What's important to do is to be able to put tons of moisturizers, wash it right off the mat, put back the moisturizer, and in the process of massaging with the gentle cleansers and the moisturizers, a lot of the dead skin will come off. And that's a very nice way to get rid of the excess skin without having to peel it or rip it, which can cause scarring. So now I'm going to show you how easily we can do a precision peel right here in the office.
So we're going to start by taking off all the oils that are naturally on our skin and this is the first part which is prepping the skin. Once we've removed all the oils and the just the crud that just stays on the skin, then the skin is ready to actually respond to the peel. So we'll just do that very gently but a little firmly because we do want to get really nicely into the pores, clean out the pores too, which helps with acne. Just a little nice benefit. Now this peel is quite painless. The only problem with it is it doesn't smell very good. And I would say that that's the only pitfall of this peel. But you can't smell it now because you're at home watching this. So now we're going to apply the peel just very gently and gradually with just the right amount of firmness to be able to seep into the pores. How are you doing? Am I burning you? Or are you stinging at all? No. So, like I said, it's pretty comfortable, and we just make sure we cover every area and stay clear of certain areas that crust more and can cause a little discomfort. But the main thing is to create an even complexion, not just to get rid of brown spots in one area. And like I said, added benefit, clean, sexy pores. So as we apply the peel, their skin responds with just a little bit of redness. That's perfectly normal. That means the peel has just started to work. And we do this several passes depending on what we're trying to treat and how deep we want to go. And actually, the instructions ask that you leave it on as much as possible, even overnight, if you can tolerate it, and wash it off in the morning. And there's a little towelette, like I said, that you can use overnight to help deliver even more of this prescription strength medicine right into the skin to get the peel to be even more effective. So that's it. Pretty easy and painless. You did okay. How do you feel? I'm doing great. Great.